Jesus said, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. <clears throat> o Lord, open thou our lips, and, and our mouth shall open forth thy praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O oh, come, let us adore him. The Venite. O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord, let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world, and the peoples with his truth. The psalm appointed is Psalm 31, found on page 622. You may be seated. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, you lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. And I put my trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. For you have seen my affliction, you know my distress. You have not shut me up in the power of the enemy. You have set my feet in an open place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eyes consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my neighbors and even and all my enemies, and even to my neighbors, a dismay to those of my acquaintance. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd, fear is all around. They put their heads together against me, they plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant. And in your loving kindness save me. Lord, let me not be ashamed for having called upon you. Rather let the wicked be put to shame. Let 
that be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be silenced which speak against the righteous. Haughtily and disdainfully and with contempt. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you. Which you have done in the sight of all, for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the covert of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them in your shelter from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord. For he has shown me the wonders of his love in a besieged city. Yet I said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the sound of my entreaty when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you who worship him. The Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full those who act haughtily. Be strong and let your heart take courage. All you who wait for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the fourth chapter of the book of Exodus. But Moses said to the Lord, O my Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past, nor even now that you have spoken to your servant. But I'm slow of speech and slow of tongue. Then the Lord said to him, Who gives speech to mortals? Who makes the mute or deaf, seeing or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you are to speak. But he said, Oh, my Lord, please send someone else. Then the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, What of your brother Aaron the Levite? I know that he can speak fluently. Even now he is coming out to meet you, and when he sees you, his heart will be glad. You shall speak to him and put the words in his mouth, and I will be with your mouth and with his mouth, and will teach you what you shall do. He indeed shall speak for you to the people. He shall serve as a mouth for you, and you shall serve as God for him. Take in your hand this staff, with which you shall perform the signs. And the Lord said to Moses, when you go, I'm, I'm sorry, I've got to go down a little further. The Lord said to Aaron, go into the wilderness to meet Moses. So he went, and he met him at the mountain of God and kissed him. Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord with which he had sent him and all the signs with which he had charged him. Then Moses and Aaron went and assembled all the elders of the Israelites. Aaron spoke all the words that the Lord had spoken to Moses and performed the signs in the sight of the people. The people believed, and when they had heard that the Lord had given heed to the Israelites and that he had seen their misery, they bowed down and worshipped the word of the Lord. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my Savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. chapter of the Gospel according to Mark. They went on from there and passed through Galilee. He did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him. And three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying to them, 
were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent. For on the way, they had argued with one another who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them. And taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name. We tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him. For no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 19 on page 94. Whoever is O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, king of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name. For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed, page 53. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. And do thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth. Thy saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. We have the poet. O Almighty God, who alone canst order the unruly wills and affections of sinful men, grant unto thy people that they may love the thing which thou commandest, and desire that which thou dost promise, that so among the sundry and manifold changes of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, who divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep thy law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, 
that having done thy will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when the night cometh, rejoice to give thee thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray thee, so to guide and govern us by thy Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget thee, but may remember that we are ever walking in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who hast made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and did send thy blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off, and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after thee and find thee. Bring the nations into thy fold. Pour out thy spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of thy kingdom through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your intercessions, thanksgivings, and petitions. Lord, I pray for all those households where the quarantine or the pause or whatever you want to call it is beginning to wear on them uh, family members who are not used to spending so much time together turn their hearts to one another and unite them in love for one another and in solidarity during this time and we ask that the strain be released and that they turn to you for uh, comfort and, and strength we pray for all of those who are ill Pray for the repose of the souls of those who've died, for those who are fearful, for those who are struggling to contain and to control and to address this emergency. We ask for comfort, for confidence, for peace, and for wisdom. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us join in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, God, Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and humbly thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God has given us grace at this time, with one accord, to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore.